everybody. Thanks so much. On Shabbat, there are two melachot, machloket rishonim, which one causes the, today's discussion. One melacha is the melacha of mi'abed, which is to take the hide of an animal and to tan the hide, which usually involved in the old days, a process of, of course, scraping off the fur from the hide, but then also soaking it and adding a lot of salt, which would harden it, or in some cases soften it so it could be used for leather. But the point is you are processing the hide, which is the leather of the animal. Another melacha, of course, the melacha of bishun, a person is not allowed to cook, on Shabbat. And there are many, many gidarim, many, many rules and uh, conditions as to what constitutes cooking. But there's a machlok shonim between the Dashi and the Rambam. There is another melacha which we know, which you're not allowed to salt because of these things. You're not allowed to salt vegetables or pickle them on Shabbat. Anything which is usually pickled is not allowed to be pickled or salted on Shabbat. According to Rashi, it's because the salting is similar when you pickle something, you're preserving it for long term. That's similar to tanning the hide of uh, the leather of an animal. Which also you're using the process of salting to change the makeup of the of the hide, make it into leather, and it lasts a long time. Similarly, when you when you pickle something, according to the Rambam, it's a little bit different. We know that in sometimes in, in, in halacha, melicha salting has the equivalent status of cooking. Like when it comes to basar v'chalav. When a person salts something, it creates a certain, it generates a certain amount of halachic heat, and therefore it's similar, according to the Rambam, to cooking. So for one of these two reasons, you're not allowed to pickle things on Shabbat. So most people anyway don't pickle, right? They don't actually put vegetables into brine and pickle in, in, the, in any regular way. So one might think it's not so relevant. However, there's a very, very common application to halacha, which is that the halacha says you're not allowed to salt raw vegetables. Specifically, any vegetable which usually could be pickled, such as cucumbers, right? Cucumbers are pickled. Uh, the discussion about tomatoes, some people can say tomatoes are not usually pickled, but any vegetable which would usually be pickled, such as peppers or, pickle or, or uh, cucumbers, you may not salt a raw vegetable of that nature on Shabbat. Can you make a salad on Shabbat? That's the big question. Mishnah Bura talks about what about making a salad? Many people have a fresh vegetable salad on Shabbat, and very often people like to add salt. So first of all, just two things. If a person has a plate of cut-up vegetables, one rule you have to follow is not allowed to sprinkle salt on the entire plate. Because since you're doing so many vegetables at a time, it seems like you are salting you know, a large amount, just like when you salt the, the hide. So instead, if a person wants to add salt to raw vegetables, then you have to do it one at a time. You take a little bit of salt and you sprinkle it on each piece at a time. So if you have cucumbers cut up into spears, you're allowed to sprinkle salt on one piece at a time. Or you could dip your vegetable into salt, but it has to be one piece at a time. A plate of vegetables, raw cut of vegetables, you may not sprinkle the entire plate simultaneously, one at a time, or dip it in one at a time. In the case of a salad, the, there's another solution. A person can put together a fresh vegetable salad, and assuming that it contains something like cucumbers, which would be a pickled type of a, of a vegetable, what you could do is you could first add in a liquid, whether it's vinegar even, or oil. If a person adds that into the salad first, then that cuts the power of the salt. The salt no longer has that same property of being able to preserve or pickle in that way. And in that way, you satisfy all the opinions about how to make a fresh vegetable salad on Shabbat and add the salt as well. Is when it comes... Huh? Sorry, the same thing if you slice it. You could add, add oil. Right, now, if you add liquid, then that's fine also. I'm talking about just plain. In salad, people like to have a dressing also, so they put on also the oil. If you put on the oil into the salad first, then that cuts the power of the salt and it's mutar in that way. Let's say you made a salad and you added salt. And you finish the meal... Put it in a container for later. You added salt, you're talking about. You added, you added yeah. oil. So it's like, what happens after? No, as long as you add the liquid into the salad, preferably before the salt or right after you put in the salt, then that cuts the power of the salt, and then it's not a concern at that point any longer. Right? 